hello guys welcome back to our channel some hours ago um edo youths edo light went on rampage they were screaming shouting insisting that fulani headsmen must leave their society must leave uh, edo state they have been crying that their uh, full stuff has really depleted well uh Governor Basaki have decided to visit not just the community but stakeholders, the the, uh, the monarchs. Everybody was really a town hall meeting. Everybody bare their heart. I wouldn't want to talk too much. Let's hear what Governor Basaki has to say and the complaint the Edo people with open heart bear their heart let's find out uh, you know in this um, live uh, this video uh, what was the final conclusion and what was their grievances against flanny headsmen and what the governor promised them let's watch this together let's meet in that conversation what to take go into our bush they ambush our people commit rape and do all kinds of punishments to the people your excellency what is very funny, the cow does not go up to eat yam in the barn like this, as, it's, uh, as they tied it. What we do is that they will use cutlass to cut down the yams in the barn, and the cows will eat them on the ground. They will cut our plantain up, the cows will eat it on the ground. They will pull our cassava from the ground, the cows will eat it on the ground. The recent one they started doing since a few days ago now, is that they are burning the bush to generate new leaves. In preparation, in preparation for new leaves, leaves. So, so so that, that they, they, they have, have enough their cows. cows. Particularly, sir, we, we have Rodibe Forest, Forest Reserve, Reserve and, and Sakoba Forest, Forest Reserve. Reserve. This havoc is more in Sakoba Forest, Forest Reserve. Reserve. And, the and the villages surrounding Sakoba Forest, Forest Reserve are Ugo, Uboko, Sakoba, Obe, Igwe Laba, Obozobe, and so in Kobe. They are all surrounding this reserve here. Incidentally, we have also in this reserve two pipelines controlled by PPMC. We are requesting your excellency very passionately to tell these pipeline people to be grading the pipeline annually so that vehicles can be passing it. Because it has not turned into bush, they just go to the Johnny bush and then they, they, they put their huts. There is even a place we call La Baladi. They build a, a, a story building there. In that, in that place, place in, that in that place, place we don't, we don't even near it at all. Because the types of guns they are using, Your Excellency, I don't, I didn't even see it with armed forces. I don't know where they got it from. So we are afraid to go into the bush, sir. One of the reasons why we are also suffering this episode is this: this is our bad road. Because we are bound, we are forced to slow down our movement when we are traveling on this road. So they are able to hijack us instead of speeding. So we are also begging that he should be given the attention. Your Excellency, sir, some of the people that their loved ones died. Okay, okay. Your Excellency, sir. So the people that their lost one died are here. One of the family is not particularly here, but two are here. And I say the third one. He has come. Okay. So they are here. We will present them to you at the appropriate time. I will say so, sir. I want to remind your excellency that when the national created area commands in Abuja, Ugo was made an area command. But up to now, we don't know the reason why it has not been implemented. If they had the area command here, we would have had more policemen. When Bala created this police division in his time as commissioner of police, he posted 46 policemen. As I speak, Your Excellency, there are only 12 policemen in this station. So, we have a guard at the gate. And then, you find out that there's nobody to even do any patrol. So, so the important, important is that we need more policemen at this police station. station. We, we beg very, very seriously that, 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 that the area command should be established, established here, here so that we can get more policemen. policemen. Your Excellency, we are not going to take you through a lot of things today. Other than to say that we are grateful for the visit. We thank you most sincerely. We want you to do more of these visits to us so that you relate with us. 
more so that we are able to solve our problems very easily. Uh, I welcome you all to this today. Seeing you in our midst for this time of need because of what happened in Ugo. Immediately when we when I got information, I quickly just put a, a test across to you, which you also acknowledge it. Then, lucky for me enough, the day we visited here, area command was on ground, the CP was on ground. In fact, all the security men, they all assisted me to the bush to recover those coughs of the dead ones. Your Excellency, I want to appreciate you for coming to Ugo today. Your Excellency, you know, I keep on complaining every day about the Fulani uh, herdsmen in my local government. That has been my major challenges in this local government. I started this race sometime last year when I see to the system of their uh, uh, behaving in the local government, I give them two weeks of the method to leave my local government. I was annoyed in saying that because I was no longer comfortable with their system of uh, operation. But a lot of people called me and said, that is not how to do it. I said, okay, let us do it in this way again. Let the whole of them come out. If you want to do your legitimate business, you come out from the bush. Come out from the bush so that people can identify you. We we'll have to carry on the database registration so that we we'll know those living in our local government. But up to now, nothing was done. They remain adamant because they feel they, they govern the... They, they, they own the, the land and uh, they own the bush. Our women, our mother, they are living in fear today. As you can see now, t tomorrow is the uh, Ugo market. They have a lot of plantain in the bush, getting rotten. They are afraid. They are scared of going to the bush. They can't go to farm. They cannot sleep with their two eyes closed because of the Fulani herdsmen in the local government. Your Excellency, I want to appreciate you for coming to Ugo. Yes, yes, it is true that, 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 that you are really people's governor, governor, governor and they and believe that, that and we are all happy today. today. Your Excellency, as I have rightly said, said, we have four families family here, here that was, was affected, affected with this killing. killing. They are all in mortuary and as I speak. And uh, we know we that, that you have a lot, lot you are doing, doing but, but we need your cooperation and assistance. Because, because, as a local government chairman, Your Excellency, this race and this load is above my capacity, sir. I am crying to you, like I do before, that you should have to help me, sir, with all due respect, to make my people comfortable in this uh, local government. Because, why? They have done a lot of damages in the local government, sir. Thank you very much. You are welcome, sir. There are other traditional rulers who are here today. The elders of the communities around Ugo, extending to Oben and environs. Let me specially acknowledge and condole with the families of the bereaved who lost their lives in the unfortunate incident a couple of weeks ago. I am here today with the Commissioner of Police of Edo State. He is new. He has been here to investigate what happened himself. I'm also here with the brigade commander of the 4th Mechanized Brigade Nigerian Army in Benin. He's also been newly posted to Edo State. They are also accompanied, please be seated, by the commander of the 
NCDC, the Civil Defense Corps, and the Director of the Department of State Security. This is to tell you how serious we take what has happened in Ugo. We are here to know that we feel your pain. And that as a government, we are very concerned and we are worried. Because the principal role of any government is to protect the lives and property of the citizens. This afternoon, we are not here to make speeches. We are here to find out for ourselves what actually happened and take certain decisions. I know this is not the first time it has happened, but we want to make sure that this sort of thing does not happen again in these communities. I want to thank you because you are peace-loving people. I know what other people would have done in the face of the provocation and the attacks that you have faced. I want to assure you that an operation will be carried out. I am very happy with the number of vigilantes I see in the community, which means that you have enough information. We are not against, like you have said, you are not against the presence of anybody who wants to come and do business here. Whether they want to come and head their cattle or they want to do other forms of business, you are not against them. You are only saying that if they have to come here and graze, they must do it legally and lawfully. So therefore, we are going to undertake an operation where we vacate anybody who is not supposed to be in the forest, out of the forest. Good enough, you have information as to their specific locations. The operations will be carried out to make sure that we root them out. They cannot have more arms than the Nigerian army. Do they? No, sir. So they will see superior firepower. We cannot bring back the lives of those we have lost. All we can do is to make sure we do not lose more lives. We will support the local government chairman to help and support the families of those we have lost. I am happy that you have not taken the laws into your hands. That is why I came here with the law enforcement agents to do what they need to do. And be rest assured, these people you see here, they have track record. They all have track record. They are new, and we deliberately went out to make sure we brought senior officers with experience to come and help us secure those state. I don't want us to play politics with security. We will deal with security as security. We will fish out those criminals. We don't want to join issues with all those who are taking advantage of the unfortunate situation on the internet, posting all sorts of fake and false information. They have their own plans for Nigeria. We have our plans for Nigeria. Our plan is to make Nigeria a strong and great country. The Commissioner of Police has taken note. This is an area, it's an area command, and it will be so manned. I'm here with the, de the Deputy Speaker of the Edo State House of Assembly, who is your son, Honorable Asuru. They have already passed the budget, and this your road is priority. So he will make sure that the contractors move to site quickly to come and repair those portions of the road that need to repair. 
So I want once again. Hello. Once again, I want to thank all of you. I want to appreciate you. Criminals will not overcome us. I want to assure you that the state has enough power. We have enough resources to deal with these criminals in our society. Don't take the laws into your hands. Continue to behave the way you have behaved. And by the grace of God, we will not experience this sort of thing again in Edo State. Like I said, on behalf of the people and government of Edo State, I have come to commiserate with you. I have come to sympathize with those people who lost their lives. We will do what we can in our little way to support the families. I thank, I thank all of you and pray that God will continue to protect us. Yes, Our respected governor, please permit me, on behalf of my people in Odeon and local government, to use my dialect, which I do. Epo kusi na zele kenivi mazele ya fe ebe biji e abiri ma biji ma soma o yoni le ma tamia we e governor gi ma kami mania wiye ke bano le ni egi ya mbe kwe ni ya ujo bani ma o ba be ma tani ya fe na ruwe e kwa gi mana no dua mu ma koria be be na ya mi we ya ti uti ya e a wiye ga ujo bani ma ba kama e ta kwa ma governor. I have been here all along. You are selling this. A Kenana boy operating now. Oh, Mary, I'm a five thousand one hundred. This pipeline. The security people, a police, a a soldier. I'm a pit. A who could go just now? A five thousand one hundred. Who went in the forest area? I have a a man here now. Meet. Now create a pity, Eva. Now patrol, Eva. So that these people will be a little bit scared. So I will say that, sir. On behalf of all your people, Makaba Wakwu. If no time, my no time, my affair, my home. Who will keep my affair? No day affair. No be do time, Eva. No be ka. No be do time, Eva. Osapa wu my affair. No day, Ode, Ode, Abe ma. Abe manu wano mau. Na la ho gavno. O ta e ba wwe e hono do kris we are talking. Be na we kanko na. A wwe ba. O ru karu e kwa no chunwe ne. O zani kano vye gen wo yawe wwe u. Ma ya fe. Ma be ka wwe. Kemi kemi ya fe nu ta. Ma no riyo wwe ya fe. Ma be riyo papa e. Wwa e chabu kona upe bo. Aba atak pe e. 